Praise be the name of Jesus. I am Prophet James. We are talking about prophecy. It's high time you start prophesying things according to the future, not according to the past. When God created man, he put him in the garden of Eden. And God used to bring, he brought the animals to see how Adam or the man would name the animals. He came to see. He was putting Adam to the test. The spirit of prophecy. And Adam was naming the animals according to where they have come from, not where they are heading. And the evidence of this is this. When God removed the rib from Adam, he, he, he went and brought a woman out of the limb. He brought a woman. And the man is saying, this atherast, this, this atherast is born of my bone and fresh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she has come out of man. So he is naming things from where they have come from. That is a prophecy in the backward. What you name, that name will take an impact. And remember, Adam had not known where he had come from. So he had not named himself. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So that the way he was naming things, it came to be prof to it came in the backward. And we see now Satan is emerging. If you go backward, you go to the origin of sin. Because he is going backward. The prophecy in the backward. So Satan is emerging. And when Satan comes, the Bible says he, he, was, he was a beast, one of the craftiest of which God had created. If you see in the book of Daniel, we see there is a beast, the, and behold, another beast, a second one, like a bear. It was raised up on one side. It had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth, and it was told, Arise, never much fresh. You see, in the mouth of the bear had three ribs. So Satan will bring you three women. God took a rib and formed a woman. Now Satan, symbolism, will bring you three other women. This is what happened. You see, in the there is a river in the Garden of Eden. And this river, there are names written that has something as if it has already happened. The land of Cush, the land of Assyria. This woman Bathsheba that tempted, Adam, tempted David was in the liver bathing. Here we see there is a liver, four rivers. And you see, we also have a beast. This beast, that is Satan and the tree. Now, you see, the, the mastery Babylon, the woman, is sitting on a beast in liberation. So three women have come. One is Jezebel, who is teaching people sexual immorality. Because who taught Adam to hide after sinning? This is the work of Jezebel, who teaches the, pro, the, the, the servants of God to practice sexual immorality. There was Jezebel in the garden. There was Bathsheba in the garden. And there was the master, the mother of prostitutes in the garden. They came three. So when God is asking Adam what has happened, the man is saying, the woman that you brought to me. Because Satan already had already brought others there. So the man is saying, the woman 
that you, you gave to be with me. Specific. And the woman is responding. It has happened. So, who had trained the woman concerning this matter? So, the prophecy was in the backward. And Adam had not known his name. After sinning is when God is telling Adam, and this is the judgment, you shall walk by the sweat of your face. You shall eat bread until you return to the cloud because you came from the cloud for dust you are. He did not know that he had come from the cloud. He had prophesied prophecy in the backward. And now the result is death. He failed the test. So God is bringing Abraham a man of faith. And Abraham has the faith of God, not the not prophecy in the back one. He is telling the king of Sodom, I will not accept even a thunderstruck, not even a thread from you. Because you say you made Abraham rich. Abraham was not rich. But the faith that he had, it was a prophecy in the future. And God told Abraham, all the nations of the of the all the nations shall, shall be blessed in you. It is the faith that came from Abraham. Abraham came with faith. That's why God said, I will be God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is my name forever. Because it is faith, prophecy in the future. What shall happen? And there is power in the names. Jesus came and uh, when he was preaching, those people who do not have faith, they had, they had a stumbling block in his ministry because it is a prophecy in the backward. Lack of faith. You put the fact. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When Jesus meets Simon, when he was calling the disciples, he says, Simon, Simon, you shall not be called Simon again, but you shall be called Peter. Simon, Simon. Because that name was a name of the back, of the backward. Jesus is giving Peter a new name. Because when a name comes, it will put faith in you. And this is where Jesus told Peter, you are rock, and unto you I will give you the keys of the kingdom of God. Whatever I will, it is prophecy in the future, not reminding him of the past. This is the mistake that Adam did, and all people have found themselves in that trap. So Jesus came to restore everything back to man. You start to prophesy things in the future, not things in the backward. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So, in the future, Satan is going to destruction. And in the future, we are inheriting the land, the kingdom. Blessed be the name of Jesus. It is high time you start prophesying to your, to your life in the future, not in the past. The past is gone and new things have come. Be blessed.